Hi, my name is Julie and I'm with the Pigeon Letters design team. Uh, today we are going to be doing some botanical line drawing uh, with a little pop of watercolor using one of my favorite blending techniques. Um, it's super quick and it's fun um, and so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so these are all of the supplies that you're going to need. Um, I have a round eight brush. Um, you can use a six or a 10 if that's what you have, but this is my favorite for kind of the loose um, watercolor we're gonna be doing. Um, I have two of the black ink, um, archival ink pens, um, an 03 and an 05, one's a little bit thicker. If you only have one size pen, that's fine. Um, but these are my favorite. <laughs> um, the two colors I chose are these, it's a purple and then kind of like a bluish purple. Um, it doesn't need to be exact, but just make sure it's a blue and a purple that kind of blend well together. Uh, okay, let's see. And this is a little spray bottle. Um, if you can see, it just sprays. This one I think I got from Tombow for their, um, to blend the brush pins. You can also grab uh, something more like this if you are like at Target in the little travel section. Um, but I happen to like this little guy. I don't know. I think it's cute. <laughs> but let's see. You need an 8x10 piece of paper, some clean water, um, paper towels, or a little white. Um, I guess it doesn't have to be white, but uh, a dry like washcloth. Um, this is Peggy Dean's Botanical Line Drawing book. So we're going to be doing a, like a riff off of these little cute flowers here and some little leaves. So we're going to do the drawing first. Oh my God, where is it? <laughs> there, these ones. So that's page 29 and 131 if you have this book. Um, we're going to draw first because these pens will dry and then we can do the watercolor super quick and adorable. Um, we're gonna be building everything basically from this bottom corner up this way. Um, we're gonna draw two flowers, I'll move this for now. So we're gonna start with like one flower here, another one here, and then some leaves and stuff. And when we do the color, it's also gonna be in this um, same area. So I'll just start up here. And if you have the book, um, you can follow along with that. These are loose florals, so don't, don't overthink it. All right, we're gonna have some fun with them, making them a little bit abstract. And this is the um, the 05 size. So we have one going up this way. I'm gonna do one sort of down here. All right, we do their little stems. We're gonna grow both the stems back down this way. Start with like a little bit thicker right under the flower and then a really slight C curve all the way down um, and make it get a little bit narrower as you go. If you want to draw this out in pencil first you can. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know that I like to freehand it because it is scary and it makes me work better. But don't feel obligated to do that. I just know that if I mess up, that's my bad. <laughs> All right, so these are our little flowers. Uh, we're gonna do some cute little leaves, two longer C curves, and we're gonna go back in with the smaller pen and draw some lines, so don't worry about those yet. And we're still kind of building everything up, like in this direction. All right, so now we're gonna add some little leaves. 
maybe one up this way. So we're going to draw the middle stem all the way up, slight C curve. This one come off the page. You get a little bit smaller as you go down to the bottom. Maybe this one has a little friend growing out the side. Do one up here. Remember, these don't need to be perfect. I think they're a little bit more fun when they're not. I'll draw a little dude over here. Very cute. <laughs> All right, and grab your smaller pen, and we're gonna do some lines. Um, I like lots of lines, so <laughs> if you don't, feel free to just shade it normally where you kind of do the half line. Um, I think they're a little bit more fun doing full lines. So just start at the bottom and kind of follow the shape of your petal all the way up. So we're gonna do this with all of these guys. If your lines are shaky, that's okay. Just means you have also had too much coffee today. <laughs> it adds character or something. Again, we're starting from the same spot, working all the way up. Try not to line up each of the lines with the petal exactly below it so you can still get a little bit of depth in there. Go ahead and do this flower. And then the leaves, um, in the bigger ones, I'm just gonna do one line on the leaves for the flowers. Make them look a little bit different than the, these extra guys here. All right, so those have one line each. And then we're gonna do a few in each of these little ones. trying not to chat too much doing these because I find the line work to be really meditative. So I'm hoping if you guys are working along with me, you also find it meditative and you aren't just listening to me breathe 
heavily into my microphone. <laughs> Sorry about that if you are. Okay. All right, and if you use the pencil, which again, totally fine, um, you're gonna wanna erase all of your pencil lines before you move on. Um, and we are going to get out your watercolors, your water, paper towel, or rag. All right, so I'm gonna do a few little drops in here to wake these up. Um, all right, and we are gonna start with some blobs. Don't really know how else to describe it to you. Um, we're gonna do here and here. Um, please trust the process. I know this is going to look gross and crazy. That's okay. So go ahead and grab the purple. All right, Here's a little bit of water. Right about there. Grab your bluish color. Got a little one here. I'm a very messy painter. I think it stresses some people out, but I can't, <laughs> I can't help it. All right, so you got your blobs. Grab your cute little water bottle. This is one of my favorite things to do. Um, okay, so make sure you're pointing it right. We're going to shoot it right here and all the way around. This is the this is the, the editing as I like to call it. So you're gonna tap a little bit where you think maybe it got a little bit too wet. Whatever. You're gonna grab some more water. So you're gonna push the paint around so that it gets into the spots. It'll give, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but using the spray thing, it kind of gives these little um almost like smoke looking parts. And it's just really fun and cool. So, okay. So go ahead and push some of the blue around, some of the purple into the blue, some clear water. And kind of see what you're working with. is so fun <laughs> the fun part too about these little uh, water bottles is that they surprise you and sometimes you miss or you shoot in the wrong spot but it ends up like looking really cool it's gonna give you a almost like a floating galaxy feel uh, I want to add a little more purple up here you know what I'm gonna do Just push it around again. I promise when this dries, it looks really cool. It's a little crazy up until that point. <laughs> it's just very wet right now. Again, you can edit it with your paper towel varying like pressure but also if you don't want to push that hard you can just like touch it and it'll soak up a little bit of the water if you went a little uh crazy with your water bottle <laughs> and when this dries it's going to dry a lot um lighter than it looks when you're painting it so don't freak out if you think it looks a little too much Never too much, that's my theory. 
And if you're familiar with like galaxy paintings, um, galaxy watercolor paintings, it's like similar to that, just kind of letting it blend, but doing its own thing. And as always, I'm going to add a few little uh, splatters. So I'm going to do purple. Um, just get it right on the brush, finger out, and just tap it on there. I like to do it when it's wet because it adds, um, kind of bleeds into it and it's fun. <laughs> all right, and then let it dry all the way clean up your mess if you're like me <laughs> um, and then we'll check back in when it's all dry all right so this is it nice and dry um, I know I didn't mention any gel pens at the beginning of the video um, but I can't help myself so if you <laughs> if you have a white gel pen or white paint um, I'm just gonna add some little dots inside of it because it kind of looks you know, cosmic, and I feel like it would just add to it. Um, I love to add little dots or circles, anything like that. So I will add the gel pen um, to the list in the blog tutorial. So my bad if you don't have one. I think it will look great anyways. Um, and if you try this and you post it, Please tag me because I love seeing those. It makes me so happy. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. And here you go. You got some cosmic flowers. <laughs>